Don't forget to click the subscribe button, comment down below, like this video, and click the bell icon to be notified. Good morning. I'm in a mood today. I woke up feeling, what's the point? And that's never a good headspace to be in. But lest you think I always have a positive attitude, nah, there are days like today. Part of it is I haven't had much sleep. The other part is just that they're killing yourself to get something, get somewhere, and then you don't. And it's just like, what is the point of this? up my check. Just gets lower and lower and lower. Uh, picked up my check. Got my cash. Now I'm up by my favorite thrift store, so we're gonna go. Because why not? It's my happy place, right? So if I ever needed to get happy, it was right now. Got a couple things at Goodwill. Goodwill was good, not great. They don't call it Greatwill. Oh, you guys, I finally got my new glasses. You can see my eyes again. <laughs> Yeah, these are from Zenny Optical. And if you have not heard of Zenny Optical, you need to buy from Zenny Optical. I got these bifocals with the coatings so that I don't have glare, plus a pair of sunglasses with bifocals, less than $100 for everything. And all of them have all the coatings and all the good stuff. Anyway, um, let's start with Goodwill because, like I said, Goodwill was good, but not great. So first thing, just some flowers for the, <laughs> for the booth. So I've been collecting good flowers, you know, good flowers. Ones that don't look terrible as I find them. I got this little Christmas sign. So it just says countryside tree farm, drive away with one today, cut your own, we grow, you know, tree farm sign, $3.99. So I'll put that in the booth. I am seriously lacking in the Christmas department this year, so. Look at, look at, look at, look at, cardboard glass. It's so awesome. That's so perfect. $2.99. There's nothing wrong with it. I am just super duper excited about it. Why do I feel like I'm missing something? Oh, I am. There was a white pitcher with lavender in it. It's still in the car. So imagine a white pitch, pitcher with lavender flowers in it. It wasn't impressive. <laughs> um, this one is the 99 cent one. I had it in the vases section. Um, I think this is because they cover the back stamp. Let's see. Oh, this is Nippon China. It's not what I thought it was, which was Austrian. So I thought it was going to be, whose stamp is that? Looks like an MA. I'm going to have to do some research on that one. Is that Mori? Mora, Mora, Mita, Mora, Mita, Mora, Me? I, I keep saying the same thing over and over again. It doesn't sound right. <laughs> well, anyway. Super pretty, and 99 cents was a steal for that. You could tell it's all hand painted. The raised gold on it is just gorgeous. So I got I got a steal on that one. Let's see. Now we're gonna go on to let's get rid of that. We're gonna go on to Shalom, which is my favorite their store. So they had this. It's tragic, I know. For two dollars, two dollars. It'll get a paint job. I mean, before spring, this will get a cute little, probably white, maybe a different color, but usually white uh, paint job because that's not going to sell. That was cute in like the early 90s. It's not cute anymore. Got a couple of baskets, mostly because I got two of these. One's larger and darker. And what I thought was this would be cute with like a ribbon for Christmas and some Christmassy things, sprays and stuff in it. And I thought this would be cute too. 
It's kind of got that country feel. And I don't know what's going to go in there. Probably if I can, <laughs> I'm hoping that there's still some glass balls. They wouldn't be um, shiny brights, but I did have some really pretty vintage glass balls, like Christmas balls that I could put in here for a little display. That's what I'm hoping. This was 50 cents for the wall pocket and 70 cents for this one. And then the larger wall pocket, I believe was 50 cents as well, but we'll find it. And then look guys, it's a tree skirt and she's gorgeous. Got the bells and the deer. Oh, netting on it. I mean, look at the netting. Can you see it? It looks so great. Then they have a whole bunch of Christmassy stamps and I'm going to be crafting. And some of it will have involved stamps. That's why I picked this up. Because I like this little guy. Isn't that going to be cute on an ornament? This little guy is super cute. So I got the brayer now. And I got the little chickadee. The rest of it was just gravy. Having the joy and the pine cone and the branch. He is the gravy. He's the gold. Look at the gold. My little friend there is the gold. Super excited to get that. I'm going to just put it right here in my, right here in the workshop. Okay. Oh, my sister watches. Wake her up. Jenny, look up. Jenny, look up. Look what I got. Yeah. Oh my God. Remember mom's old salt and pepper shakers? sense. I had to buy them. So my mom and dad had these in the seventies on their table. Um, these were our salt and pepper shakers growing up. I bought them back. I don't think these are our exact ones. Um, I don't think so. Cause I think my mom had scrubbed the silver off of ours. My mom cleaned everything like a mad woman. She was cleaning. So that was fun. And I wanted to start you guys know, if you've been watching this, I wanted to pick up more 70s and 80s stuff because that's what they, you know, I'm going to have to start incorporating some of that stuff in. When I saw those, it was just a happy moment. <laughs> it was just like, I remember these. Happy memories. Okay, so the pink and blue deer. I mean, come on. It's so mid-century. It's so good. It's so good. How do kids not like this now? It's filthy dirty. I don't know what's on it, but she's going to need a bath. But the pink and the blue deer is just so great. There is no markings on this. This might have been somebody's grandma's project at one point. But grandma did a fantastic job. I love it. I love the deer. Okay. I'm trying to get stuff out of here without breaking it. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Buffalo check. This is for me. It was three dollars in the men's section. Um, I've been wanting to have like some flannels to put over my t-shirts and stuff, especially. Ooh, dude had perfume. Ugh. That has to be washed, um, especially when I'm working picket. Layers, layers, <laughs> layers are a good thing. Okay, don't break it, don't break it, don't break it. <sighs> that tree skirt left glitter everywhere. Okay, so remember I said I was going to put the drop cloth down. And then I had picked up a table runner. Here's my $2 table runner. It's really long, actually. And it's green and kind of a champagne color. It's good, right? It's really good. So I got to get that cleaned up. I mean, there's no stains on it or anything, but I want to get it at least unwrinkled, you know? De-wrinkified. <laughs> it's not a word. De-wrinkified. <sighs> okay. On the 70s and 80s front, these are actually salt and pepper shakers. Don't they look like little canisters? Um, and you can see they've got little salt and pepper shakers tops 
and the little rubber stopper bottoms. There's a little flea bite out of this one. Other than that, they were in good condition and I was like, <laughs> okay. But they came with a friend. This one I'm gonna have to tape the lid on because I can just see somebody in my booth like tipping it over to look to see if it, it's got a lid. I have no idea what this would be for. So for your salt and pepper and sugar? I don't know. But it, it came with a little friend, little canister friend. They were all 50 cents a piece. Oh, here's the larger wall pocket. It's darker, but still, I think it would be cute. You know, put a little holiday ribbon on it. Put some things, some bits and bobs in there. I think it's good, right? Do you think it's good? Maybe some holiday flowers or something. Some poinsettias or... I don't know. I'm shooting for the fence here. I don't even know. I don't know anymore. I got some Fenton satin. You guys aren't even going to believe the price on this. So this is blue satin. The ruffled tulip pedestal candy dish. One dollar. I was like, are you freaking kidding me? One dollar. Okay, sure. I'll go in my cart. It's dirty, but it's not chipped. It's not cracked. It's not broken in any way. It's the swirly. I think it's called satin, right? Am I wrong? The swirly whirly? Anyway, this is probably going to get a paint job too. It's a cute little one. So I've done these before where um, I hung it by a chain and then I put um, crystals like random crystals. This is how I knew people were stealing from me was I'd made one of these and hung the crystals out of them and the crystals kept disappearing. <laughs> and I was like, okay, you can buy those crystals on Amazon for like nothing. <laughs> like the ones that I had on here were straight out of China. They weren't vintage uh, or on the other one, weren't vintage in any way. But I basically just made like an outdoor hanging piece for your garden and somebody kept stealing the crystal teardrops off the end. So it would look like, so I took a bunch of crystals and just made it look like, you've seen it, right? You've seen that? That's what I'm going to do with this one because it's too small for anything else. And I'm almost done, I'm almost done, I'm almost done. They had a bunch, a bunch of these. So I got one, two, three, four... And then I got four of these type in blue and red. And then one of these. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do with this one. But I figured I would regret it if I didn't buy it. So it's probably going to be a fountain or some other thing like that. And then these will probably be repurposed into what I'm thinking is like co hooks or towel hooks. So you know, a board with these on them to hang. I have a few more somewhere, don't I? I think I finally put a price tag on them and brought them to Junk Bonanza as bowl fillers. But that's everything in my new glasses. <laughs> I can't wait to wear my sunglasses because I had prescription sunglasses, but they didn't have the bifocal and I thought this wouldn't be a problem. Do you know how many times you look at your phone, even with your sunglasses on? And I could never read my phone. And I'm like, I want bifocal sunglasses. Next time I get sunglasses, I'm getting bifocals. And they're so freaking expensive, but not with Zeddy Optical. <laughs> and I've got my glasses, they don't hurt. I don't have to have them adjusted. They don't think my nose is, you know, a sliver. Those other glasses, twice, I went back to have them moved apart. And then the second time she said, I, I don't think we're going to be able to push them apart anymore. And I'm going, well, I can't wear them like this. Don't you guys think you should like, I don't know, give me my money back? Because <laughs> these are crap. These are not crap. They fit me perfectly. I love them. I love them so much. And I love my sunglasses. And I'm so excited that these have the coating on them. So you can see the light, yeah. But it looks like a green thing. Whereas opposed to the ones I was wearing yesterday, which was solid light reflection. Oh dear. We're going to have to glue the reindeer back on. Oh, oh, oh. 
oh, the reindeer's not having a good day. We're going to have to take a pot shit back on. Um, no, it's unfinished. Look at this. The whole thing's pinned on. The whole thing's unfinished. No, no, these are finished on this side. Reindeer's not on. The poinsettias, none of them are on. None of the reindeer. <laughs> the whole thing is unfinished. <gasps> oh my goodness. Somebody's grandma stopped in the middle. I won't speculate on why, but anyway. Ugh. So I'm so glad to have my glasses back because when I would edit the videos, I would be thinking, oh my God, you can't even see my eyes. Now you can see my eyes. I'm back. Um, so yeah, I turned my day around. I have a little bit of laundry to do and <laughs> I guess it's better than the alternative. Perfume's better than the alternative of stank. Dude, just stank. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching, everyone. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, don't forget to click that blue button right there. Subscribe. Press the bell icon to be notified so you don't miss any future videos. It's got a lot of fun things, including new products that we're trying coming up. If you haven't yet gotten your Happy Junkin shirt, which I'll pop it up here, uh, click the links below. It supports me. It supports this channel. Everyone who's gotten them loves them. Am I, am I right? If you want to send me a thrift flip challenge, you can send it to the P.O. box right here. If you want to send me any products to try or anything else, also send it to the P.O. box. And by the way, Donna, I did get my uh, frozen Charlottes. We're going to be using those in a project coming up. And Donna was hap um, happy to supply me with them. Thank you so much. I bought them from her. So if you need stuff like that, you know, contact her. We've got a project coming up for frozen Charlottes. I'll tell you the truth. We don't have those here. I have never seen frozen Charlottes anywhere. Those were the first ones I've ever held in my hands. So I felt quite special. I was excited to, I got to touch them. I mean, I've heard of them. I had never seen one or actually held on to one before. So thank you for sending those to me. They're going to be great in the project. And if you'd like to buy me a coffee, because y'all know I'm on half a tank, I could use another cup of coffee. It supports me. The money goes right back into the channel. It's like Patreon, except without the monthly commitment. So thanks for watching, everyone. Happy junkin. Bye. Visit my blog, peonylanedesigns.com, for more tips, tricks, and inspiration. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so you'll be notified of new videos. I post every week DIY tutorials and of course, more Junkin videos.